Khodorkovsky comes free out of a Russian hard labor prison in Siberia in, in 2013 after 10 years and all of a sudden all hell breaks loose over Russia only one week later. The time to pull some strings. This guy is a pharaoh and Freemason and one of the first rules of Freemasons is to never get hot tempered nor show hatred and only talk love, humane and humanitarian issues coupled with peace for humanity and human passion with divine forgiveness. And it was thus bearing the Brotherhood's rules in mind when he showed up in front of the world's cameras. And probably these cold beings can't even show some good old human, hot tempered but honest emotions. And therefore his hatred and call for vengeance on Russia is one of an extremely cold nature, which can be seen in his eyes if you look very well. And as these mason creatures are forbidden to talk hatred, because by rule they only act hatred. He pulled a few strings with Octogon, the motherland, where all his stolen money is. And as the Nazi-Islam connection has been established by Swiss Octogon members as Ahmed Huber al Swissri and François Junou, together with Hitler's personal friend Amin al Husseini and many others, Khodorkovsky revenge on Russia in collaboration with religious fanatics misled and financed by the most sinister Nazi Templar organizations of Octagon through the great imminent eminence of Switzerland behind the screens. It is thus global terror gets masterminded through Switzerland. It is common practice for these Nazi indoctrinated suicide bombers to get a new house and a car for their family and relatives through money from the base of all evil Switzerland. And for a wealthy guy like Khodorkovsky, $30,000 for a new house in Chechnya or some other Muslim country are just peanuts. So here we can see uh, Al Husseini, uh, this is the Nazi connection. He was even an uncle of uh, Arafat. In fact, for real Muslim jihadists, it's forbidden by the laws of jihad to attack any non Muslim country before the land of Islam has been liberated. So it must therefore be assumed that these latest attacks in Russia are the work of this section within the jihadist movement that finds its roots in the Islamo-Fascist section founded and funded by Octagon Switzerland by the Nazi Templar bankers as François Junou, Ahmed Huber al Swissri, and their today's follow-up. This Nazi section within Islam probably started in 1923 in Zurich when Swiss General Ulrich Wille started to finance Hitler and where most probably Amin al Husseini got invited at the very same moment as well. Here we can see Mr. Hitler in Zurich in 1923. After World War II and until today the Germans are sick and tired of war so Octogon had to find another force to manipulate, indoctrinate and do their dirty wars for them. So Volgograd where it happened um, is in fact Stalingrad and Stalingrad that's why you can see these uh, mon the monuments here because it was completely destroyed in the Second World War due to the Swiss financing of Adolf Hitler in uh, Zurich 1923. I tell you all that Switzerland, their octagon Nazi Templars and their Nazi banks have their dirty little fingers in everything and facts show that the Swiss Nazi Islamo Financing Corporation has been established long ago 
and is very, very real. Just as real when Khodorkovsky thanked the Swiss Nazi Justice Department last week, where for the initiated he thanked and honoured, in fact, Octogon.